going to be talking to you about Moss Skincare's Potency Intensive Dermal Repair Hydrating Emulsion sample that I got from Aurora Beauty. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about Aurora Beauty, then I'm going to talk about Moss Skincare, then I'm going to be talking about um, the product itself, and finally I'm going to give you my opinion of it. My name's Sharon, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you guys subscribe below and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. Okay, so let's get started. Aurora Beauty sells products from a variety of different brands, and they have the opportunity for you guys to sample some of the products that they have before you buy them. And when you have to purchase a minimum of five different samples, and I believe they're about three or four dollars a piece. So I ended up purchasing 15 samples from them. And what they say is the purpose of these samples is allow you to, you know, patch test out these products. And even though they're natural, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to have a reaction to them. So what they mean is for you to test them out and make sure, first of all, that you're not having a reaction or any irritation, but you can also just see if it works with your hair and skin. See if you like the texture of the product, the scent of it, um, if it's effective for you, if you like the color, if you're trying makeup, or what have you. Now, in addition to being able to patch test out a product before you buy it, I also like the fact that I am able to try these luxury, more expensive skincare or hair care products that are just out of my budget. So I purchased, um, I purchased four different products from um, Aurora Beauty that were in the Moss skincare line, and I'm going to show you what they are. So the one I'm going to talk to you is the Potenti or the Potency. I'm not exactly sure how to say it, but it is an emulsion. They also have the Lumina, which is vitamin C. They have the Zen Physics. Um, which is supposed to be a spot treatment, and it's very blue. I also got the Air Arum, um, and they don't sell this anymore. I'm not exactly sure why they discontinued this. So of the four products, only three are available on their website. They also have a cleanser and a mask. Now, Moss Skincare is um, a company that I really... I've really gotten into and I like a lot of things about it. So what they have, it was formed in 2015 by a physicist. So it is a relatively new company. And MOSS stands for, I have to write it down, uh, Modern Organic Sacred Skincare. So what this physicist is trying to do is she's trying to merge nature along with science. Um, so she doesn't. She says she doesn't want it to be so crunchy um, that you're able to make these products in your kitchen, you know. And then a lot of companies seem to be doing this. They're very crunchy and natural, um, and then they just put a high price tag on their products. And it's something that you could easily and cheaply make by yourself. So along with science, she recognizes that she uses things such as active and peptides, and she also uses preservatives. And I think this is super important because preservatives play a very important role in skin and hair care products. I know that they have a bad rap, but the purpose of preservatives is actually to preserve your products. You don't want these natural microorganisms growing in your products, and that is bacteria, yeast, mold, and fungus. Um, if you don't have preservatives and you have water in your product or a water-based product, uh, such as aloe vera, um, you're either going to have to use that product as soon as possible, very, very quickly, and that's going to depend on the outside atmosphere, how hot it is and how humid it is, or you're going to have to refrigerate it. And if you refrigerate it, it's not going to keep very long. It's only going to keep as long as food. And I know people keep food for a long time and eat it, but I would only keep it for a few days or you have to freeze it. So they do acknowledge that science definitely plays a part in the natural skincare. Now, in addition to this, she also says, um, so the reason she made this is for adult acne. So she wanted sensitive, it to be used for sensitive skin, for people not to have a reaction, but it also to be effective. And what she does is they use plants and botanicals and they don't use something called fairy dust, which I guess in the, the formulating world, this is known as filler. So it's, you know, products that or ingredients that look great, they have a great name, but perhaps they're just using such a low amount that it's not really making much of an impact at all. So she said, for example, they had to use 5% of vitamin C, then they max it out, they use 5% vitamin C. And other companies out there might just use, you know, like 1%, you know, and then they can put vitamin C on the label. So she also has hydrosol based. Um, what a hydrosol is, it's floral water, you know, uh, or a hydrolat or what have you, um, but it is a process of the distillation process um, or distillation method when you're extracting essential oils or you can make it just for getting the hydrosol out of the plant. And I like this. I have seen a number of companies that put water as their first ingredient and then they slap on this astronomical price tag and it just turns me off. Like I, I know that there's, you know, 
you could put water through a variety of different um, you know phases or what have you but I think it would be better to use hydrosols especially when you're talking about luxury skincare um, she also uses the extracts that she uses are whole plant or standardized extracts. So what this means is if you take dry tea leaves, for example, green tea, and you pour hot water over them, you are making um, a type of extract. And she says that they don't use the same type of you know, dried goods that you're using that you can buy in the store. So they are using more expensive products in order to get all of the as much vital nutrients or active nutrients as you can out of the plant. Um, another thing they use are CO2 extracts, and CO2 is the super critical um, extraction method that they're using. And what this does is it's, it's a little bit confusing even to me, but you can get out either essential oil or something that's similar to essential oil out of plant, and you can also get um, some plants you can get carrier oils. And usually in the extraction method, the best one used to be cold pressed, and then above that you would have expeller pressed. And as you move up, you're using more heat, and the more heat that you put on the plant material, the less nutrients that you are able to get out of it. Now, the CO2 somehow uses oxygen, um, and it's a super critical uh, extraction method that they're using, and this is even better than cold pressing. Now, when you're using the CO2 extraction, it is going to be more expensive. For example, if you are, have an essential oil or you have a CO2 of that same plant, the CO2 in general is going to be more expensive, and the same with the carrier oil that they have there. Um, one last thing that they have on their website is they have quizzes that you can take and see which of the products are going to work for you and they also talk about candida cleanse which is for acne. So candida is 100% natural but it's something that can definitely create acne for you. So that is a lot of information about Aurora Beauty and Moss Skin Care and I want to talk about the potent potency or potency. I'm not sure how to say it. Um, from Aurora Beauty, of the four samples that I got, two of them were in pots. And both of these are the same price. If you're going to purchase them, it's 10 milliliters um, and $63. And that's the smallest size that you can get. Now, the vitamin C that I got, I'm going to show you guys that first because I think this got damaged somehow in transit. As you guys can see, it's super, super flat. This is supposed to be a serum and it's just very, very sticky if you can see where I tried to get it out um, and used it once. Now, the potency that they have, again, it is a very small amount, but it is kind of fluffier, um, and I think the vitamin C probably should have looked like this, um, and something happened in the transit process. So, it does have a very light fragrance to it. It smells kind of herbal to me, like an apothecary shop would smell. Now, on their website, they say this is the strongest anti-aging pro product that they have. It's ideal for rejuvenation and repair. So what they are talking about, um, it is in order to hydrate your skin. Um, and here's where science really plays a part. So what they do is they use DPHP and they use DMMC. So what they say are these are antioxidants. And antioxidants play a very important part in skincare. And she actually says that these products that they are using, these two ingredients specific sorry, specifically, are actually better than vitamin C and vitamin E. So as you can see, science is definitely helping out um, this product. So for example, DMMC, she says that most antioxidants only protect against oxygen, which is 21% of the atmosphere, and free radicals. But in fact, DMMC also protects against nitrogen, which is 78% of the atmosphere. So it's actually protecting against more, um, over triple what um, most antioxidants can. Uh, in addition to nitrogen, it also protects against free radicals and lipid peroxidation. So that's pretty cool. Um, and it says another thing of, about free radicals are the biggest problems that you have are UVA radiation and also pollution. Um, and that's just becoming, the UV radiation and pollution are just becoming more of a problem every day as we are damaging the earth that we are living in. So what she says here. Um, is she has its healing and anti-aging and she has a number of herbs and botanicals. It says it's absolutely magical um, Which I, I don't like the word magical especially when they're talking about science, but there you go They have some ingredients that they feature so they feature Helichrysum. Now Helichrysum is also known as everlasting or immortal um, and it's a very precious uh, expensive essential oil um, that can be used for a variety of different uh, physical as well as emotional difficulties that you might have. Um, they also use obsidian seeds, sacha, sorry, saka inchi, which I believe is from the Amazon, muru muru butter, I know that's from the Amazon, niacinamide, again, this is where science comes in, ceramids, peptides, 
Um, and then they have a handful of other essential oils and carry oils and some other things in there. Now, I want to get into the ingredients. The first ingredient is jasmine hydrosol water. Now, jasmine is what I would consider a precious, expensive oil. Um, and there's usually Sambach and Grandiflorum. Um, and I would, I'm going to be buying samples from Avat. I'm going to link to Avat below. It is a great company, as well as Eden Botanicals, if you want to try out samples of uh, carrier oils as well as essential oils. So that is the first ingredient. The second ingredient, they have absinica oil, sacha incha oil, and muromuro seed butter, and then moringa, sorry, moringa seed oil. So the first five ingredients are what I would consider very important, and there is no water in here. Um, and that's something I like, because I consider water to be a filler. Like I said, hydrosols, hydrolats, hydro, or floral waters, whatever you want to call them, I believe um, are better to use rather than water, especially in expensive products. Then they have a handful of sciencey things such as um, niacinamide in here, um, a ceramid, a handful of ceramids in here as well. Um, and then they go into some more extracts. They have watermelon, lion mane, oat, um, horse chestnut, kunzia, um, they have copaiba, um, which copaiba, I believe the one they're using here is the essential oil. So copaiba can be kind of um, a resin carrier oil or it can be an essential oil. They also have palmarosa, which I personally think smells like honey and my daughter thinks it smells like Coca-Cola. Um, and that just goes to show how different scent can be. I'm going to link to that video above and below and you can check that out. Um, and they also have Boswella Cartieri CO2 extracts. And this is actually um, a fantastic ingredient. I wish they had written the vernacular name or the common name in the parentheses. So what they have done here in the ingredient list, they have put in the INCI, the inky or the botanical, the name of the ingredient. And then for some of the products in parentheses, they've also put the common name. And they haven't for this. And now what this is, is this is actually frankincense. Um, and there are very different frankincense here, but the carteria, I believe, is usually from um, Oman. Um, and not from Somalia, and the CO2 extract is going to be more expensive than the essential oil. They also have um, white sage and rosemary leaf extracts in here. Now, some of these ingredients are organic and or wildcrafted. They also say it's 100% non-toxic, safe, and gentle ingredients. Now, I'm just going to say here that just because it is natural, it doesn't mean that you're not going to have a reaction to it. So I would definitely do a patch test on anything that you try. Um, now, I've given you guys some information about the ingredients. Um, I want to give you my opinion of the product. First of all, I do like the fact that there's no water in here. Like I said, I consider water to be a filler. I like the exotic carrier oils, essential oils, and CO2s that they've used. They haven't used, um, well, some of them are run-of-the-mill, Palmarosa, for example, is what I would consider run-of-the-mill, but a lot of them out here are, you know, more expensive carrier oils and essential oils and raw ingredients than you can get. I like that. Um, the price tag is definitely out of my price range. I do like the fact that you don't need a lot of this product, uh, but for right now, it's something that I would not repurchase in the travel size, which is 10 milliliters for $63, or even the full size, which is... I believe it's $143 for 30 milliliters, but I am grateful for the fact that I was able to test it out. So I want to hear from you guys. Have you ever purchased anything from Moss Skincare? I do like the company. I like that they only have five products and that they put a nat nature along with science. They acknowledge the fact that science does play a part in natural skincare. So if you've tried anything, let me know what you've tried and what your opinion of it is. Please leave a comment below. I really enjoy hearing from you guys. Like this video and give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. I will see you guys later.